Hey folks, so this video is to finish up our launch template demo that we did a little while ago. And what we're going to add in this video is an actual EC2 instance. So this came from a question that somebody had in the YouTube channel. So let's let's build that out. I tested this already and just through the console. Actually, let me show you what I've done. So I've already deployed the launch template demo. This is the one that we did on CloudFormation Wednesdays. And I just tested it through the console to just make sure that, I know we ran it during the demo, but I wanted to make sure that, well, it still worked. And I went through the launch template. So if we go over to the EC2 console and we go to launch templates, where is that? Here, here's our launch template. And if we were to go through this, the only thing that we didn't supply in the launch template itself was on the networking side. Where is this value now? I won't be able to find it. There's our storage, our tags, network interface, advanced details maybe. Let me see if I can quickly find it. I don't know where this is. All we're missing is inside the, the network config, where do we want this to be deployed in the VPC? That's all we need. So we, we essentially need to provide the name or the ID of the launch template. And if you use this template as is, then you should just be able to use or just supply the subnet ID through the management console. That's all I needed to do. The other thing that I did here was I deployed a, a VPC. So I did that beforehand. So if I go back over here, I go to stacks. And you can see there's my demo VPC now, and there's my launch template demo. So what I thought we would do here is just um, add a simple EC2 template and see if this works. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna say demo EC2 instance. And like we often do, I am gonna put in a depends on statement here. And I'm gonna say this depends on the demo launch template. Right, it actually depends on it. No, it just depends on that. So then we're gonna say properties. And let's just go and have a look at what we need to supply to this. So if we go over here, here's everything that you can define in your EC2. Um, what am I talking about here? Your EC2 uh, instance if you're deploying it directly, right? And what we're doing is we're using our launch template. All of this really is defined in the launch template already. So if I scroll down, this is what we need. Okay, we need a launch template definition, and then we need our, where is it here? Our subnet ID. If this functions the exact same way as it did in the management console when I did my little test, that should be all we need. So let's start with launch template. Let's see what we need to define here. We need to define either the ID of the template or the name of the template, and then the version. Okay. So that's it, pretty basic. And it's one or the other here. All right, let's try this again, All right? So all we need is the launch template ID or name, one or the other, and then the version. And we're going to use a reference here. Uh, we, can, we can use, you can see here that Using either latest or default is not supported in CloudFormation. However, we can do latest version number or default version number using a get attribute. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's figure this out. So what we need is our launch, what was that ID called? Launch template specification. And in the launch template specification, we need to provide the launch template ID or the name. So we'll do launch template ID, and then we need a diversion. We'll, we'll go back and fill these in here in a second. And then the other piece of info we need is the subnet ID. And we're gonna just refer to a subnet ID. And that's because we don't have any sort of inputs or exports working in this. So you can see up here in our parameter section, we're just passing values in as strings. So we'll do the same thing. So we'll say subnet ID type is string. 
Okay, so that'll that'll fill this in and we can update our CI script to do that in a second. So we need our launch template ID and our version. And the way that I'm gonna figure that out is we're actually gonna go back over here and we're gonna look at the return values for the launch template. Okay, so here's, uh, if we use a ref, we get the logical ID. So that should work. So we should be able to put, if I flip back over here, we should just be able to do ref, and what did we call it? Just demo launch template, because this will refer to the ID for this piece. And then we need to figure out the version. So let's have a quick look at that one too. And you can see we can use the get attribute for that. I like to use the default version for this, but it's up to you. Today we're gonna to use default version. So I'm just gonna do get attribute, demo launch template dot default version number. So that's really all we should need to add here. We'll see if this works the way I expect it to. And then all we've done is we need now a new subnet ID. So if I go back over here to our original deployment script, how did we do this? We just put it right in here. So subnet ID, and I'll just grab that quickly. I'll show you where I'm gonna get this from. So if I go back over here, we go to uh, VPC. And I'm gonna put this into one of our private subnets, doesn't really matter which one. So that's our subnet ID and I'll put that in our script. So what our script looks like now, and here's our simple script. So all we did was you added that and then I need to add that into my parameter IDs and let's commit this. here and let's see what kind of spelling mistakes we have okay so that's pretty good then let's see what happens on our deploy let's jump back over here and go to cloud formation there's our template let's see if we've got our change set yeah we do and what we're doing is adding an ec2 instance so we're not actually making changes to anything else so let's Execute this and see what happens. Ah, launch, there's, there's our spelling mistake, I would assume. <laughs> hey, so let's go back and have a look. I knew we had to have a spelling mistake here at some point, even in the short video. Launch template specificate, what did I do wrong? All right, just gotta jump back over to just the EC2 documentation. What are we looking at? An EC2 instance, right? Oh, yeah, oops. It's just launch template here, sorry. Like this, All right? And then, yeah, I just, I cut and pasted the wrong thing or typed the wrong thing. So we define our launch template. And then within that, we provide all the specifications for the launch template. So let's try this again. Mm. And if we go back over here, we should have a new pipeline running. All right, let's see what happens now. That looks a little better. There we go. So if I go over to the EC2 console now, we should have a new instance running. 
there it is and it's coming to life okay the thing that i want to just mention is if we flip back over here what you end up defining in the properties right so you're always going to have the launch template because you want to refer back to the launch template that we created let me go to my search okay. now we defined a lot of things in the launch template you don't need to define all of these things but just remember if you're missing something in here that's required to successfully deploy your ec2 instance then you do need to define it down here okay so that's why the only thing we needed to add was the missing subnet id because we had everything else uh, defined in the launch template so there you go that is how you could take our demo launch template from our last couple Wednesdays ago session, right? And then just add a little stanza to actually deploy an EC2 instance from it. So there you go. Okay. Hope that fills in some blanks for you. Until next time, get out there and build great things. Bye for now.